Hi, my name is Chuck Moore, and I'm the CEO El Presidente of Chaco Flaco Drinks here in Phoenix, Arizona. And with our good friend right now, Holly. Hi. And basically, we're going to do a couple different Bloody Beers. Um, we're going to start off with our Bloody Mary mix, which is our Bloody Maria. We're going to use our good friend Dos Equis here. And we're going to show Holly how to make those at home. My favorite hangover cure, so. Okay, I'm very so, excited here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a good thing for the next morning if you've had a rough one the night before. Uh, <laughs> and it's also great for summer, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you're going to want to salt the rim. Okay, so, so we're, we're going to do that lime. here with some lime. Absolutely. All right, and these limes are cut up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're going to stick that all around the rim, squeezing a little bit. Perfect. Okay, and then we're going to dump it here in the salt. Perfect. That around there. Excellent. That's a good job. I like a lot of salt. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna take some ice. All right. Add that in there. I'll add some ice. Is there? A, do you add a lot to this now? Is it gonna fizz up on me? Um, it will if you if you overpour the beer. I, I would say maybe a little bit more ice, and then as you add that mix, it'll be able to. It'll be able to cook. Okay. Good right so good on the ice there. Yep. And. Now you add the mixture? Yeah, I'd add about uh, anywhere from one to two ounces of the mixture. Okay. And, and then, that is our Bloody Maria mix. So it's the Bloody Maria mix, and we're gonna just give it a little shake here. You've got a lot of particulates in there. You've got all the different vegetables that you need. Um, you know, everything that you would put in a Bloody Mary in like a bar or in a restaurant is already in there for you. So you're taking the workout? Uh, make it as easy as possible. For Perfect. The and about how much are we gonna pour into this? Um, I'm, I'm thinking about at least about a one. 0.5 to 2 ounces. All right, so we'll do. Put that in there. It's a great color. It really is. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Is that is that enough? Or? Oh yeah, I think that'd be perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just gotta, and then we we're gonna use a Dos Equis Lager. I mean, now okay. you can use it about any beer, but personally, I, when I do a bloody beer at home, I like to use Dos Equis. So not any beer makes this particularly well. It's just um, my preference. I I do like lagers. Pilsners when it comes to my uh, my bloody beers, but I mean everybody's different. So okay. whatever, I guess whatever you have in the fridge, you got a PBR in there, you might as well crack that open. <laughs> we'll use whatever here. Kind of keep it to the Mexican theme a little bit. All right, and then just the rest of that in there, or should we leave a little bit of space? I would leave a little bit of space because what I what I would do also is because there's so much going on in there, I would take another glass at home and not, not everybody's gonna have a shaker at home. Okay. And I would just pour once and maybe twice back in there. And I think I think it'll be mixed perfectly. And then you can add, you know, top the beer off a little bit after that. Okay. All right. So we'll. It looks like it's pretty mixed in there. I think so. We can add it back to our salted Perfect. glass. Awesome. And then I would top it off a little more Dos Equis. or you could even do a little more mix if you want. But I think the Dos Equis is more important. Than that. <laughs> okay. And then do you do you add limes to it, or um, you know do you what? feel like there's I, enough I in there? I actually like lime. So I'm gonna add at home. I'm gonna add an extra little bit of lime in there. Okay, so we'll squeeze a little bit in there. Totally. Top that off. All right. It's, it's all a perfect yours. color. Does look good. Oh my god. That's nice, huh? That's perfect. It does make the perfect Bloody Maria beer. That's not even a hangover cure. That's no. a drink. Yeah, that's a drink. That's <laughs> definitely a drink. So I think the next thing we're gonna do here is our uh, chocolata, and uh, that's basically. The Verde Maria, which is the first ever green Bloody Mary in a bottle. And what we're going to do is kind of the same thing. We're going to add the ice, or actually you probably want to salt the rim first. So this one goes with salt as well? Yeah, yeah. This is more like a michelada. Okay. And what, what uh, vegetables are in that one? Um, you're going to have serranos, you're going to have hatch chilies, uh, jalapenos, tomatillos. Um, there's some celery in there as well. So all the green vegetables. And that actually is going to have about... Uh, it's gonna have a more of a kick to it than the other red. We, we like Sounds to call a little it, spicy. It, it's gonna be a little spicy. We we call it. It's gonna you know it basically has a little bit of an attitude. <laughs> what we like to say. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so we got our salt on the rim. Absolutely. I'm a big fan of salt. We can see that. It looks good. <laughs> All right, so then we we're gonna do the ice again. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. And we're gonna give this one a little shake. Absolutely. Just about two ounces again. Yeah, that looks awesome. All right, and then beer will help it through the through the chopped up ice. Absolutely. 
just add that to the last part. All right, and then to mix it up here. Perfect. That's wow, pretty. That's not good. Oh, it looks spicy. I like the limes in my drink. Absolutely. I don't know about you. Yeah, me, me too. All right, and then we'll get some more, in there. Some more yeah. beer over top, just to top it off. Perfect. I'm excited. This one looks even better than the last. That's delicious. It's still, oh, still a little kick, so but it's more authentic, if you will. Good job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much you for, for having me. me. Appreciate it. Good These awesome are delicious. Job. Yep, and you can get those at uh, any Whole Foods and AJ's throughout the uh, the valley, and um, we just appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you. Thank you.